Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm actually going to show you the fastest way to reduce input delay in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 and trust me guys, what I'm going to show you is literally makes so much sense. First of all, shout out to Adam X about tweeting about this because I actually didn't know that this was a thing until he tweeted about it. And what I'm talking about is that RGB actually can add additional input delay on your Windows PC. And after that tweet, I did a bunch of research for myself trying to figure out, okay, why does this actually happen? Why do you get like more input delay while actually having just simply RGB on your PC? So therefore, so many Fortnite pro players are using RGB on their keyboards and mice and headsets and even here on my microphone, which is the Quadcast S, I also have RGB on, you know? So therefore, I wanted to know, can it really be that bad? And I just did some research on my own as mentioned and I'm just gonna blend in right now here what I found. Running your RGB effect slash animation can take a great toll on your MCU. I'm gonna explain this later on in the video. It requires a lot of processing power and will delay other processes. Just like when you play a game with extreme graphics while live streaming, your CPU will get overloaded and significantly decrease your frame rates per second. It's not gonna be as strong obviously guys because you can still play but actually turning it off might actually help you with your PC. Obviously if you have a stronger PC guys with like a really good 8 to 16 thread CPU and like the latest RTX card uh, the equivalent AMD one it's obviously not gonna be as noticeable but let's just pretend you're on a low end system guys having something like this running in the background can actually make a difference between Fortnite being playable or not and before we actually gonna get into that as mentioned I want to explain real quick what the MCU is it is pretty much a microcontroller which is built into your CPU which controls all the additional output and input devices on your PC so therefore if you have some sort of RGB connected to your PC, this is gonna go through this microcontroller which is directly linked to your CPU. So let's just pretend you have a lot of RGB actually plugged into your PC. This is gonna put a huge workload on this microcontroller which is getting his main power from the CPU guys. So therefore actually while having more RGB on your PC, this is gonna put a bigger workload onto your CPU which can of course also decrease FPS. But as mentioned, if you're running like a higher end system, this is not gonna be as noticeable as on a weaker system. So therefore guys, if you're running a laptop or a low end PC, actually disabling RGB can be beneficial. To take it even a step further guys, most of the low end to mid tier laptops actually don't even have RGB built in and this might actually be the reason. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Before I hope